है बाद मस्त बादा आशा में अहमदेयत चलता है दौर में ठीक <laughs> Um, the first ten questions are to do with the Friday sermon. The second ten questions are more general knowledge. So, um, I, I cannot see. See? I cannot see. Okay, now I can see. Sorry. Yes, you can see. Zirab, you can take part today. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, hopefully, I'm uh, not at the bottom of the list. See, <laughs> I think we have Omla with twenty people on the call. Mashallah, um, all from different parts of the Midlands. So everyone tries to take part. Um, if you're with your families as well, get your families involved, and let's try to answer these questions and see who who's been listening to the Friday sermon, and who's good at their general knowledge. Who's on Dartica? <laughs> <laughs> Only one man. That's not Kasim. See Tiga. Tiga, we're thirteen people, guys. We'll give it. We'll start it off. Tiga, and whoever can join, they can join while the thing's going on. So, Khudam Nait. Fourth of March, Mashallah, years flying by. So that's it. The first ten questions have to do with the Friday sermon. So, in how many years before Hazrat Usman's demise did he perform his last Hajj? So before his death, um, he performed Hajj, but how long ago was it? Like before his death, was it around one year before, around two years before, around three years before, around four years before? So these are all things that are related today. Yep, it was just around one year before, Mashallah. So Antarctica, right up there at the top, Mashallah. <laughs> Going in cold. Okay, when the rebels entered the house of Hazrat Usman, Rizalanhu, they found him in sajida, doing tabligh, reciting the Holy Quran, or bathing. So it's all in chronological order. I put the questions, so you know we get a nice cover the whole of the Friday sermon, Inshallah. <clears throat> So what was Hazrat Usman doing when the rebels came in? Yes, he was indeed reciting the Holy Quran. Mashallah, 12 of you listening intently. Antarctica still at the top. Takrim coming second, Shabazz third. Okay, Hazrat Usman assigned 10 guards to guard the treasury. So Hazrat Usman during this time, he had a feeling that the rebels were going to come. So he put some a few guards on the treasury so that the rebels don't steal it. Um, but how many did he... Did he assign to go there? Was it 10 or was it another number? True or false? What do you guys think? It was false. Does anyone know how many it was? Out of curiosity. So nine people have chosen false, but they don't know. <laughs> it was in fact two. So he appointed two people to guard the treasury. And with that, Daniel has shot up to third and Shabazz down to fifth. And Jalis is the highest climber um, up to three places. Hopefully we'll see Jalis in the top five today. So Hazrat Mavia's son harshly pulled the beard of Hazrat Usman Rizilanho on the day he passed away. Was this true or false? Hazrat Mavia's son harshly pulled the beard of Hazrat Usman Rizilanho on the day he passed away. True or false? It was in fact false. So uh, just give a bit of background to this. It was in fact Hazrat Abu Bakr Rizilan, his son, who was the first person to come down and he pulled his, his beard really harshly. And Hazrat Usman Rizilan, during that time, he said to him, if your father was only alive at this time, you would be ashamed of what you do. And when he heard this, his son, um, his son left him and, and went. But then the rest of the rebels came and then they started um, fighting against Hazrat Usman. So it wasn't Hazrat Mavia's son, it was Hazrat Abu Bakr Rizilo and his son. Question five. The rebels struck the head of Hazrat Usman with what weapon? Was it a steel sword, an iron sword, a steel rod, or an iron rod? The rebels struck the head of Hazrat Usman with what weapon? 
These are all mentioned today in the Friday sermon. If you guys are listening attentively, this should be a breeze for you. And three of you, mashallah, were listening well. Um, it was, in fact, an iron rod. So you also say loha in Urdu, or Punjabi. Um, they struck his head really hard with an iron rod. And with that, Shabazz Saab has jumped to the top. Combo breaker, three players just dropped their answer streak of four. So this question actually caught a lot of you guys up. Question six, how did the rebels disregard the copy of the Holy Quran that Hazrat Usman Rizilawan was reading? Did they do it by throwing it, by kicking it, by cutting it, or by burning it? How did the rebels disregard the copy of the Holy Quran that Hazrat Usman Rizilawan was reading? It was in fact by kicking it. So they kicked it out of the way while he was reading it and carried on with what they intended to do. So Daniel has jumped to second and uh, whatever flag that is has <laughs> come to third. And Antarctica is still fighting strong in the top five. So, okay, next question, number seven. Hazrat Usman Rezalan who tried stopping the attacks from the swords of the rebels with his arms or his hands or the, his sword or a chair. Hazrat Usman tried stopping the attacks from the swords of the rebels with what? His hands. Exactly. Perfect. So imagine trying to strike him down, but he stops him with his hands. And in that moment, he said to the rebels that, will you strike the hands uh, which wrote the Holy Quran for the first time from the mouth of the Holy Prophet So as you know, he was a scribe of the Holy Prophet and he was the one writing down the verses um, for the first holy uh, version of the Holy Quran with those very hands to maybe you know spark some embarrassment or some shame within them but you know they had no shame at all in what they were doing and we'll learn more about that now on these questions so Hazrat Osman's wife came to stop the rebels but, but they didn't stop and cut which part of her body so Hazrat Osman's wife came and tried to stop the rebels but um, they didn't stop so while they were attacking him and her did they cut her hair her fingers, her arm, or her shoulders? Which part of her body did they cut? <clears throat> her fingers, exactly. So she was trying to stop them, but they didn't care. They wanted to you know, finish him off. And in the process, they injured the fingers of Hazrat Usman's wife. So with that, Daniel is still second. Zishan is on fire on four, in fourth place, and Antarctica is still there. But we still don't see Jalis, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll see him now. So which country was Molvi Idris Sahib Mahroom, Marhum uh, from? Was he from Uganda, Ivory Coast, Ghana, or Rabwa? Where was he from? Mashallah. So 11 of you listened very well. So he, has, he was from Ivory Coast. <clears throat> and that doesn't change anything at the top. Next question, number 10. So last question of the Friday sermon. Which Jamia did Molvi Idris Sahib Marhum graduate from? Was it Jamia Ghana? Jamia Uganda, Jamia Sierra Leone, or Jamia Rabo. Which Jamia did he graduate from? It was in fact Jamia Rabo. His whole intention was to become a Murabi and he you know, sacrificed his, his life to go to Rabo and become a Murabi. Um, and so nine of you did get that one right, mashallah. And let's see how that changes. It changes everything. So Daniel has jumped to the top now and flags is on fire as well. Uh, nice with an answer streak of three. Antarctica, I don't know why, but he's still there <laughs> in the fifth position. Okay, now more general knowledge questions. Actually, there's one more question actually. What color achkin was beloved Azuru wearing today? So uh, observation question. So was he wearing navy blue, black, pitch black or brown? What? Black and pitch black rubbish up. Not fair, man. I know. <laughs> it was black. Yep. So the answer was black. Um, black achkin that he was wearing today. Shabazz, mashallah. Good observation there. Antarctica as well. Always got his eyes open. Okay, now more general knowledge questions. Most common letter found in the English words. A E I C, most common letter found in English words. A E I C. 
And the right answer is taking time to answer it, guys, is in fact E. I think a lot of you guys right now have got the letter E in your names, or the first name, or second name. I don't. <laughs> in both my first name or surname. That's right. Their mood, mashallah, has come to top fives on fire. Okay, what did the Pharaoh do to keep bugs away from him? Forced slaves to stand around him and fan him, covered his slaves in honey, covered his guards in animal meat, or stayed inside a tent. What did the Pharaoh do to keep bugs away from him? Good question. Maybe when we go to Pakistan, we might need to adopt this as well. Covered his slaves in honey. Okay, I don't think we could do that. <laughs> so he covered his slaves in honey. I don't know, maybe we do some research. Maybe the doctors can tell us why this happens. But cover yourselves in honey. Maybe you might attract other kinds of insects. So, so I don't know why that, why you do that. That must be a lot of honey used. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Slippery slaves. Okay, what was Napoleon once attacked by? A thousand ants, a thousand scorpions, a thousand rabbits, or a thousand cats? What was Napoleon once attacked by? I pressed the wrong one by accident. So it was in fact rabbits. So Napoleon and the Battle of the Rabbits faced with the implicable animal horde. The emperor beat a hasty retreat. The enemy numbering in the thousands was relentless surrounding Napoleon and his men, eventually bringing them to their knees. So yep, a thousand, a thousand rabbits. It's called the Battle of the Rabbits. Okay, next question. The first speeding ticket issued in 1902 was for going at the speed of how much? I think we've done this question before. So 1902, speeding ticket was issued for which speed? 120 miles per hour, 80 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour, 45 miles per hour. 45 miles per hour. That would not work in Birmingham, especially. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Temur jumped to third place. Shabazz still at top. Masra Shabazz is really good at these cahoots, mashallah. And Taktika is close behind him in second. So, how long would it take to get to the moon by car? I know it's a bit of a controversial one, depends what car you're in. If you know a micro, it might take a bit longer. If you're in a different car, maybe quicker. So, one week, one month, six months, or one year. What speed are you going? 45 miles per hour, obviously. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can't break the speed limit, can we? <laughs> okay, one month, mashallah. Yep, so one month. Actually, none of you got it right. So we'll take oh, you because one. Because they didn't specify the speed. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, what is the record speed for changing a car engine? Is it 15 minutes, one hour, 45 seconds, or seven seconds? The car engineers would know this. What is the record speed for changing a car engine? The correct answer is 45 seconds. And eight of you did get it right. That brings Daniel back to second. Third and Taktu drop down to fourth and Temur is in fifth. Next question, blue whales weigh as much as three elephants Three bulls, three dolphins, or three sharks? Blue whales weigh as much as three elephants, bulls, dolphins, or sharks. Blue whales. So blue whales weigh between 50,000 kg and 150,000 kg. And yep, elephants was the right answer. Top five got it all right. Two more questions. Iceland doesn't have any spiders, buffaloes, mosquitoes, sharks. Iceland doesn't have any spiders, buffaloes, mosquitoes, sharks. What do you guys think? Mosquitoes, exactly. Iceland, a Nordic island nation located in the North Atlantic Ocean, close to Antarctica, 
Um, it's completely free from mosquitoes. Uh, the sparsely populated country is home to approximately 1,300 types of insects, but has no mosquitoes. Different mosquito species have been a menace in almost all countries in the world, but not in Iceland. So guys, if you hate mosquitoes, get a ticket over to Iceland. And Antarctica will probably join you there as well. Okay, which European country has the most McDonald's? Which European country has the most McDonald's? Belgium, France, Germany, or UK? And this is the last question of the day. Let's end on a good note. Which European country has the most McDonald's? Yep, so Germany, all you Germans out there, you guys have the most McDonald's. <laughs> Let me just check how many how many McDonald's you guys have. Number of McDonald's. It's so 1,470. Yeah, 1,470 plus McDonald's. Well, okay, that's uh, that's Kahoot for today, guys. Let's see the let's see the podium. So in third place we have Daniel, Masha Daniel, very good. In second place we have Antarctica, and in first place, Mashallah. I do assure you, he didn't know the answers from before. Shabazz, Mashallah, fourteen out of twenty, and then Flags and Temur in fifth place. So the top five, Mashallah, you guys kept quite maintained. At the top, well done, guys, and well done for getting the Friday sermon questions correct as well. Um, if